I'm gonna work out after this and I need to wash my hair so I'm wearing this hat because not the best hair day going on for me right now. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and today we're going to be talking about Our Lady of Guadalupe and my testimony when I went and visited Guadalupe, Mexico back in July of 2019. So when I went to Guadalupe, Mexico, it was a pilgrimage for young adults. It was absolutely awesome. There were about a little over 20 of us. And it's just, it was such a blessing to be there with other people in their 20s and 30s. And it was so much fun. I highly recommend going on a pilgrimage if you have not already. And if you are a young adult and you're single, it's really fun to go with other single young adults. Obviously this was not like a dating program. I'm not gonna be talking about the miracles of Guadalupe on this video. I'll try and link something below uh, so you can research the miracles yourself. But this is just my personal experience Guadalupe. All right, so we're gonna start off with the most generic um, experience that happened to me which was when we get to Guadalupe, we go immediately and we see the tilma, right? It was so beautiful and just so amazing, but it's in this big cathedral, all right? It used to originally be in a smaller church uh, next door, but they built this big cathedral because it's one of the most visited sites in the whole world. So after we visited the tilma, a couple friends and I went to the smaller church where they were having Eucharistic adoration. I spent a ton of time there in prayer and adoration. And then all of a sudden I realized, wait a minute, why am I sitting in Eucharistic Adoration in Guadalupe, Mexico? Okay, I can sit in Eucharistic Adoration at home. Why am I sitting when I could be sitting with Mary, you know, in the big, big cathedral, a once in a lifetime experience to a certain extent. Like, why am I sitting here when I could be there? And I realized the whole point of Mary, the whole point is that she is our mother and her job is to bring us closer to Jesus. She brought me to Guadalupe, Mexico, and where did she take me first? To go see her son, and I spent a ton of time in adoration. I loved it. My second big miracle that happened there, this one's a little more specific. If you follow me, you know that I talk about dating a lot, and so my first relationship actually ended uh, several, several, several months prior. It was a very confusing one where, you know, we broke up, but we were still talking. It, it was not a healthy relationship. That was you know, back in my early 20s. So we get to Mexico and we were in uh, Mexico City first. We spent a, you know, a day or two there before going to Guadalupe. And we were in this beautiful church and there was this absolutely stunningly beautiful statue of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And now, so my ex-boyfriend and I, we went to mass every single week at a church that was also named Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And so it was the eve of her feast day and I stood before the statue of Mount Carmel and I just said, Our Lady, why? Why do you still make me pray for this man every single day? Why am I still thinking about this man all the time? You know, he is broken up, he has moved on, he had another girlfriend who looked a lot like me except not as pretty, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> that was me being petty. Why do you still have me so attached to him? I felt the Holy Spirit, I did. I felt the Holy Spirit and I felt Mary talking to me and I felt her, I felt her say, he is not your problem. He is not your problem. That's what I heard. I heard him, her say, he is not your problem. It is not my job to get my ex into heaven. Okay. It is not my job to get my ex-boyfriend into heaven. I feel that my vocation, I'm pretty confident my vocation is to marriage and to have children. It is my job to get my husband and my children into heaven. That is my vocation. That is my job. It is not my responsibility to get my ex into heaven. I do want him to go to heaven and everything. And I do occasionally pray for him still like I do with all my exes. But I, I, I had to renounce. I had to renounce this man that I did, I don't want to marry. Like at, the, like at that point, I already knew it was best that we broke up, that we were not meant to get bad and married. But it, like he was still on my mind so much. So I just gave him back to Mary. In Our, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, I just said, I give him back to you. It was so therapeutic and so amazing. And it just, it, it, and a few weeks later, literally a few weeks after that, I met my next boyfriend. It was the most, I was finally able to let this man go and then meet a man who I had a much better and deeper connection with. And that was because of Our Lady. So Our Lady just told me, he's not your problem. Your future husband, that's who you gotta pray for. Someone else is supposed to be getting him into heaven, so don't worry about it. So my third big miracle that happened to me was actually on the plane ride home. So what did Mary say, Our Lady Guadalupe say to Juan Diego? 
Am I not here? Who are your mother? That really sticks with me to this day. That sticks with me. And I, I really experienced that on the plane ride home. So I was flying separately from the rest of the group. When we, I was flying, it got to be really bad weather and all the planes had to keep circling. So the plane kept circling and I realized my phone was running out of battery. Uh, my plane was getting in very late. Uh, I still lived with my parents at the time. They were not coming to pick me up at the airport. I had to take an Uber to get home. I knew they were asleep and my phone was dying and I didn't know what to do. So I just started saying, Mary, you're here, you're my mother. Mary, you're here, you're my mother. You said, are you not here? Or I was just repeating that to myself. I said a rosary on the plane and then the plane lands. And then there's a mad rush to get to the gates because so many planes were up in the air. So it took a long time to get to the gate. My phone keeps going down and down and down and it's at 2% now. I get off the plane. I'm trying to find a place to charge my phone. I couldn't find anywhere to charge my phone. I look up the Ubers. They're all super expensive because there's a mad rush to get to the Ubers. I get an Uber. I get outside to meet the Uber. It's packed with people at arrival. It's just so many people. The Uber driver contacts me. He says, hey, come up to departures. Nobody's up here. I go up to departures. I find my Uber right away. I get in the Uber. It's one of those Ubers where there was like, you know, chargers and water and mint and he, I'm charging my phone. Thank God. And I was just like, Mary, you've taken care of me. You've taken care of me. And then the Uber driver said, where did you come from? I said, oh, I just came back from a pilgrimage in Guadalupe, Mexico. And he just said, oh, I have a special devotion to St. Therese of Lisieux. And if you guys have followed my channel at all, you know I love St. Therese. And I'm like, oh, really? He said, yeah, my son was really sick and we prayed to her and he got better. That's a generic. There was much more to the story. I, I will not include here. But that was the general gist of it. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I had such a beautiful conversation with that man uh, all the way back uh, to my, my hometown. And it was just, it was the perfect way to end that pilgrimage. And I'm so blessed that I, that I ended my pilgrimage with Mary by leaning on Mary in a way when I really needed her. And it was just, it was so, so beautiful and so great. So you guys, I highly, highly recommend if you have not been to Guadalupe, Mexico to go, especially if you are live in the United States, it's not that difficult to get to Guadalupe. You go to uh, Mexico City, which is a really cool city. It was not what I was expecting at all. There's so much other things to see like the pyramids and there's all the history and the shopping and the food. You got to be very careful about the food. I think everyone on my trip got a little sick because we, you know, it happens. It happens to our weak stomachs. But I highly recommend Our Lady Guadalupe. The, the miracles associated with the Tilma, you got to see it, you guys. Be very, very careful of pickpocketers. My friend's phone was stolen. I highly recommend holding your phone. If you're gonna be taking pictures the whole time, hold your phone. Definitely don't put it in a purse like with it outside. If you do have it in a purse, make sure it's zipped and like tight to your body where your backpack's in front. Cause one of the girls on my trip, uh, her phone was stolen, uh, which was very sad. And um, you know, people prey upon people cause their guards down because they're all everything. But highly recommend you go to uh, Guadalupe. It's amazing you can go up the hill there's so much shopping to do which yes it's kind of commercialized but it's fun i have a beautiful rosary that i got there and i just i i love our lady guadalupe i think she's the most stylish of all the apparitions if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up hit the bell and hit subscribe so you never miss one of my videos and can you let me know in the comments below which marian apparition is your favorite do you have any miracles that happen for you at a pilgrimage site uh, where would you like to go on your next pilgrimage? Let me know everything in the comments below. Yeah, let's, just, let's just keep creating this community. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed the hat. Actually, let me know in the comments below. Do you like the hat? Have a good one. Bye. Got, ugh. Have a good one, guys. Bye. All right. Maybe my hair was not that bad. Maybe I didn't need the hat for the video. But... Maybe I'll come back every week just wearing the hat. I don't know. Check on Thursdays. Am I going to be still wearing the hat on Thursday?